So this is a Red Sea Reefer 250. It's the second time this same tank's been set up. A lot of things are going to be done different this time round. Previously the tank was absolutely loaded with rock. Uh, as much as I could get in there. Um, I'll try and get a picture of that over the video. Probably won't though. There you go. Uh, this time round, uh, what you see so far, that's that's all that's going in there in terms of rock structure. So I'm going to try and do minimalist uh, look. However, my intention is for that space not that's not been used up by rock to be used up by coral. Um, I'm trying again to get the corals to grow as big as I can. We'll, we'll see. Uh, this tank this time round is going to be SPS dominated. Um, I'm going to try and get hold of some higher end stuff if I can I will. Um, the lights that are running on this tank currently are two uh, Hydra HD 26's uh, black. There they are. There you go. Um, I'm going to add some T5's. Uh, for flow we've got a Eheim 3.0 compact, I think it's called, it's about 3,000 litre return. I'll change that to one of the uh, Vectras, probably the small one. Um, you can see there two 200 series Max Specs gyres, they both need <laughs> cleaning. Um, they're both running off the dual controller, which is pretty good. Uh, they have, they bring in an absolute ton of flow. I'm going to add one more pump off the side of the tank though, that's a J Cod. R8, something or other, 8,000 litre pump anyway, I can't remember what it's called. Um, in the sump at the minute, all that's in there is a heater and a cable train wreck, so not a lot to see in there, but I'll probably build another, I'll either build another algae reactor or I'll buy one of them LR algae reactors, so uh, <coughs> we'll see about that. Um, skimmer. I don't know about, I've got a Bubble Magnus Curve 5, they're not very good in my opinion, but I might set that back up and, uh, you know, I'll get another one down the line. Um, other than that, there's not much to say about this tank currently, this is the first time it's ever been, you know, borderline properly filmed. Uh, from the last tank, there was four... Unfortunately, only four survivors. Everything had to be done very quickly. Like I said, we've just moved house. Um, we've bought this house now, so it's uh, it was quite a fast move. Um, all that survived are two hermit crabs and a sea star and a I oh, want a couple of Nazareth snails as well and a uh, cocoa worm. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think the stars. Well, it's not doing very well, and the uh, feather dust is not doing too good either. Um, the hermit crabs seem alright, but I try and feed them if I can, try and get food to them, but... Uh, yeah. Um, the reason I'm filming this tank today, because the tank's been running about a week and a half, two weeks or something like that already, it's because today is the first day I've really noticed any algae growth. So, hopefully that means my cycle is sort of going well. Um... I'm replacing all my testers, uh, some of which are going to be uh, HANA checkers for... Mainly that's for alkalinity, because the previous time this tank was set up, I had such a bore lake with alkalinity, like I had all these different test kits, and they're all contradicting each other, and... You know, the only real good way of testing your water these days, to me, seems to be using the uh, iOS, or whatever they're called, you know, when you send them away and get it tested by Triton or Aquaforest or whoever you, you know, go with. But realistically, you can't do that every week. Or, you know, alkalinity should be monitored every day. Hopefully in the future, uh, seeing how things go, I'd like to get hold to the um, Trident by Neptune Apex. That seems pretty awesome. But again, we'll see We'll see what goes on. Any of you who own this tank, there's not an abundance of space in the uh, cupboard, so, you know, that's that's going to kind of dictate what we can do also. Um, I'll leave the video there. Uh, if this goes all right, if I'm any good at editing or whatever, I'll upload another one and I might talk a bit more about what I intend to do in the future. Um, I am 
hoping to do everything that I've wanted to do since I was a kid. All the drawings, everything I've ever done as a kid, I'm going to try and make a reality now that we own a house. That's absolutely gigantic uh, aquarium, a separate aquarium built in my uh, in another room outside uh, for a predatory tank, um, all in the same system, coral tanks and all the rest of it. And the same goes for all my snakes and spiders and lizards and all the other stuff that I get on with as well. <clears throat> I'm uh, hoping to do everything I ever wanted to do. So, but as for this tank right now, uh, it's Boxing Day, the day this is being filmed, so I might not update it again until there's something to actually see. Depending on how the cycle goes, if like algae starts growing all over the place and I'm doing a shit job of controlling it, then I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll film it again and uh, you can see how I'm doing a terrible job of starting the tank for a second time. Um... I don't intend to do any water changes, maybe one or two to get through the cycle, but after that I've got no intention of doing water changes. So uh, The salt that I'm using for this tank, I didn't want to use it, but it's what I had on me, and like I said, it had to be set up fast, is Red Sea Coral, Coral Pro. I might talk more in the future why I'm not keen on that stuff, but there you are. So I'll leave it there. Bye!